Manchester United agreeing personal terms with Mason Mount and holding detailed talks with both Rasmus Hoyland and Kolo Muani. Very positive early start to the transfer window for Manchester United, but is it a signal of something more sinister? Is it a sign, in theory, that Sir Jim Ratcliffe has agreed to buy Manchester United and that they're holding off that announcement until after the FA Cup final? This is a theory that... You know, they know that there will be immense backlash if the Sir Jim Ratcliffe bid, which involves keeping Joel and Avram Glazer in the club with significant voting rights, the backlash that that would cause, the protests it would cause, they do not want that to disrupt their final games, including the FA Cup final. So they hold off the announcement until after that happens. And then when they announce the new owners, they also announce Mason Mount. Maybe they announce a new striker as well. And they try to minimise the backlash for bringing in Sir Jim Ratcliffe and keeping the Glazers. Now, the reason this is this is a theory is that could you really, if you were still in the sales process, be agreeing personal terms with Mason Mount, be talking in depth with these strikers when you don't know who the owner's going to be? If you were selling a house and you had multiple different potential buyers and they'd all looked at the house, they'd all put in their valuations and their offers and then you suddenly decide to rip out the kitchen and put in a new one... Well, that clearly messes the whole thing up because some people might not like that kitchen. Some people might devalue the house after that. It it doesn't make a lot of sense. And there is a growing fear, I think, among Man United fans that this is a sign that Sir Jim Ratcliffe has agreed to buy the club.